Our top story this morning, an investigation is underway in Colorado following a deadly attack on a Planned Parenthood facility. A gunman shot and killed three people, including a police officer. That officer, Garrett Swayze, was a member of the University of Colorado Police Department in Colorado Springs. Five other officers and four civilians were wounded in the attack. It happened in Colorado Springs, about 70 miles south of Denver. A dramatic standoff with police ended after five hours. This Suspected gunman Robert Louis Deere of North Carolina is in custody this morning. David Begno is in Colorado Springs with the latest. David, good morning. Vanita, good morning. About 100 yards behind me is the Planned Parenthood facility where it all happened. This morning, it is still a very active crime scene with investigators going through it room by room. Within the last hour, the body of Officer Swayze was transported under heavy police escort to a local funeral home. Also, the suspect has been booked into the El Paso County Jail. He is being held without bail and is scheduled to appear in court on Monday. Our sources telling us he surrendered yesterday after realizing he was cornered and had no nowhere to run and ever since then has been cooperating with investigators. The frightening moments were captured on police scanners after authorities say the man opened fire on officers who were responding to reports of an active shooter. With the gunman still on the loose inside the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood, police were able to rescue people hiding inside the building including Catania Crown. I heard everyone in the lobby screaming, get down, get down. And then I saw a like, gunman walking with a shotgun, just shooting randomly. He was aiming for my head. It's just weird to stare into the face of somebody like that. And he didn't win. Well, this was a terrible, terrible tragedy. It could have been much worse, but for the actions of the first responders, particularly the police officers involved. The situation was further complicated because law enforcement was concerned the gunman brought explosives. We have eyes on him. He is coming towards the front of the business. We did get officers inside of the building at the Planned Parenthood, and the officers were able to shout to the suspect and make communication with him. And at that point, uh, they were able to get him to surrender, and he was taken into custody. We have our suspect right now. He's saying that he is alone and he's by himself. Okay, good job. We saw a lot of individual acts of bravery today and actually a lot of bravery as a team. Nine other people were shot but are listed in good condition at a local hospital. Vanita, as for Officer Swayze, he leaves behind a wife, a son, and a daughter. David Begno in Colorado Springs, thank you.